Uh, Mr. Kamath, I want to go back now to the real infrastructure story. We just talked about digital infrastructure and the digital play, but let's go back to the infrastructure story in the context of NABFID. Uh, you know, the MD of IAFCL, uh, uh, while speaking to us here on CNBC TV 18, said he believes that India requires a specific law for infrastructure. Now, A, do you believe that that is necessary? B, uh, how is NABFID's role going to be different, for instance, from IAFCL's? I, uh, I cannot comment on what I will say because I do not know the context in which I said it, so and I have not uh, looked at it. I think NAPFIT's role is very clear in its charter, and uh, I think it's a very, very expansive role. And its role is, uh, you know, uh, I would think not only just a DFS, DFI, but also a catalyst. It could catalyze other uh, institutions and uh, so on. Uh, so I think uh, the role. Uh, there are, I think, points where uh, the roles would uh, overlap in a way, and that's good because we need uh, more long-term players. But um, the charter, to me, appears to be much wider than what is uh, there in any other institution, and that's the reason why this institution was uh, created. So, uh, uh, and, I, 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 and, and I believe it is needed. I believe it is needed, uh, given our earlier discussion in terms of uh, what we see as uh, the, the growth momentum over the next 25 years, the role of infrastructure yeah. and uh, the role of uh, government in that infrastructure. So all these uh, required institutions with long-term capability. Shirin, in this context, what I want to basically touch on is, you know, we have had banks doing the role of uh, a true infrastructure uh, debt provider uh, as an interim measure. After, you know, 2000 or 1995-96, when the existing DFI in a way did not have access to funds and went out of uh, you know, that role, Today, we have a situation where there, those funds are available. Those funds are available in the system through the insurance setup, through the pension setup, and even through the mutual fund setup for savings, savings are going in for various instruments and so on, and directly from the capital market. So there are multiple sources available today, and funding is getting uh, done through a variety of means, as you see, long-term funding. So honestly speaking, yeah. uh, the banks can do long-term lending only for a short time, not as a consistent, uh, you know, strategy going forward. Because increasingly, their uh, funding is a shorter and shorter term. And uh, again, as more technology comes in into the, the marketplace, as it were, you know, long-term instruments can be made to look like um, you know almost monthly servicing instruments. I just heard that NHI has in mind to issue monthly interest to its uh, bondholders. Can you imagine the change it will make? Right. Uh, here's the government institution, AAA, which the government, which the public looks at as government, offering you monthly interest rates which are significantly higher than either uh, any rate that a bank can offer. So I think there's going to be a whole right. lot of disruption in terms of the way banks will need to handle uh, you know, their own uh, growth and their deployment of assets. And if you have an, on an average one year money or less in terms of ten or Lending it out longer, right? Is, uh, you're going, you're putting your neck on a on a line, with the, you do not know the consequences. So, I think uh, bankers will be more cautious in lending long out. And that is why I think the government's move in setting up NAPTO is very timely, and we need to create a, I would say, an ecosystem to finance infrastructure. And I think that's going to happen. We will see it in the next two years. Well, uh, that certainly is the hope, Mr.